So splitting of octahedral coordination entities. In an octahedral coordination entity with the six ligands surrounding the metal d orbital and the electrons of the ligands. Such a repulsion is more when the metal d orbital is directed towards the ligand than when it is away from the ligand. Thus, the dx square minus dy square and dz square orbitals which points towards the axis along the direction of the ligand will experience more repulsion and will be raised in energy. Whereas a dx, y, x, z, y, z orbitals which are directed be between the axis will lower in energy level and related to the average energy in the spherical crystal orbit. Thus, the g generacy of the d orbital have been removed due to the ligand electron metal electron repulsion in the octahedral complex to yield three orbitals of lower energy T2g. and two orbitals of higher energy. The splitting of the degenerated levels due to the presence of ligands in a definite geometry is termed as crystal field splitting and the energy separation is generated by delta naught. The subscript O is for octahedral. So here it is, I got my free metal ion, this is how the free metal ion. Here is the average energy of the d orbital in the spherical crystal field and you are able to see 3 lines below and 2 lines above. Splitting of d orbital in octahedral crystal fields. Thus the energy of the 2 eg. 3 by 5 delta naught and that of T2g will decrease by 2 by 5 delta naught. The crystal field splitting delta naught depends upon the field produced by the ligand and charge of the metal ion. Some ligands are able to produce a very strong field in which case the splitting will be large. Whereas others produces weak fields and consequently result in small splitting of d orbitals. 